Welcome back to the channel. On this episode, I'm going to be framing the window. There's many ways to frame a window, many ways to skin a cat. I've chosen to do it this way because it's the way I've chosen to do it and that's the reason why. So I hope it gives you some ideas of how to frame your window and hopefully it'll work out okay. I will show you what I've done so far to frame the window and my thought process behind it. So let's go and I will show you that. Here's the window that is going to be framed and this is masking tape that's running along here. That's the level of the countertop. So what I want to do is once I have the units put back in place and once the framing is all in place, I will then cut the countertop up towards the window, leaving a couple of mil where I can then fill that in with clear or white silicone because I don't want any wood touching the window. And I also want a gap for the wood to expand and contract without actually interfering with the window or touching the window. And that's the reason for this masking tape. So what I want to do is I want the wood to come out as far as this black line on the window. And the same down here. I've cut these wedges, so these ones were a bit easier. That's a 45 degree angle. And the same with this one. I got a piece of wood, I forget what size that is. It was a two by three and I cut a 45 degree angle on this end and then I slid it in and then I put on the, the pine, I slid this into place with my 45 degree angle and then to get the actual distance out what I did was I used my square so if you can see so to know then where to cut I put the square on it and I lined it up roughly with the, the wall then that allowed me to get to know where to cut that. Then I put it back up just to make sure I was happy with it. Next thing I did was drill a two mil pilot hole into the wood and then counter sunk it with a counter sink. And then I used Evo stick grip fill and I placed that on the underside of it and I stuck it on, put back on my block and then got down here and made sure that that was level and I was happy with it and that I was happy with the plywood that it was level this side here um, I just used a piece of the ply put it up against it like that and then when I was happy with that I got my 2 mil drill bit and then I held that steady and using the grip fill also keeps it pretty steady. Using the two mil steel drill bit, I drilled the pilot hole and then straight away got my zinc plated carbon steel 25 mil screws and I screwed it in place using that. And then that just gives it a bit of support and it'll hold it in place while the grip fill cures. I now have the supports for the window frame now secured in place. So I'm gonna talk you through what I've been doing and the way I want it to end up. So what I'm doing is putting in these supports all along the window frame. And I'm gonna do the same with the sides here, this other side and the bottom. What I was originally going to do, I actually changed it. The way I did this was I got a piece of ply and I put it at the level on the window that I wanted it. And then what I did was I got a measuring tape from the bottom of the 12 mil ply to the top of the plywood. And then that distance was gonna be the height of the block. And I think that was 60 mil. So a 60 mil block and I then cut it to the width of the actual 12 mil ply, which is 
around 55 mil. Then what I did was I pocket hold screws two in the front, one on the side, and then another one on the opposite side. Some wood glue, place some wood glue on the top of it, and then screwed it up into the support here using 30 mil screws. And I did the same with this one here, and then the same with this one here. So now I just have one more to do, and we'll do that one now next. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to the bottom ones. And then once I have the bottom ones done, I've got the two side ones to do here. So let's get cracking on that. Now that I have the supports installed and secured, the next thing to do is I'm gonna cut similar blocks that are up here for down here. The way I'm gonna measure that to get the height of the block is to get a piece of ploy and then put it up against the masking tape. That masking tape is the height of the countertop. So what you want to do, place your plywood up against the masking tape and then get your measuring tape and then measure that height. So the height of that is 95 mil. So it's 95 mil minus 18 for the countertop. So that's 77. And just to make sure, 95 minus 18. 95 minus 18 is 77. So 77 is the correct number. And what I'm gonna do now is cut a block to the height of 77 mil. That'll be exactly the height that the countertop can clear this and then get towards the window. Let's cut those blocks. I've cut the first block to 77 mil and now I'm gonna check it. So the way I'm gonna check it is Place it in as close to the window as possible and then you should have 18 mil left. Right, so now that I'm happy with that and there's 18 mil, I'm gonna cut the next block and make sure that there's 18 mil and do the same for the next two. The window frame is now complete and the next step is to apply the vapor barrier over the insulation and then once that's done I'm going to cut the plywood to size and square out the window and line it up with the framing that I've done and then that will give me a nice square window. <laughs> 